Good evening everyone. So I'm set up again outside. It's uh, currently about just after nine o'clock and I've set up on the Dumbbell Nebula M27. And here's a three minute exposure. And we can see we've got uh, the nebula sitting pretty uh, in the middle of the, um, the, sc the screen there. And if I go over to the guiding, it seems to be behaving itself so far. And we're sitting a 0.37 error. So all looking good here. I have got a high level wispy cloud that keeps drifting in now and again. And uh, I've got no telling how long it's going to last. Uh, so let's just uh, take a chance on this. And I'm going to set off uh, a three hour... 180 second uh, exposures with a binning 111, sorry, binning a 1x1, one one, and uh, just a unity gain 100 there. And uh, let's see what happens tonight. Okay, let's do it. Exposure started. And I shall speak to you uh, later. All going well. We won't have condensation until much later on. All going well. We won't get clouds coming in. And all going well, the damn guiding will behave itself tonight. Okay, so uh, I came out to, towards the end of the imaging plan and it looks like we managed to get 58 uh, out of the 60 planned images. Uh, still no uh, issues with the uh, guiding or anything other than it had stopped because the telescope had... Uh, gone down below a tree, uh, but there's the last image you can see that was captured uh, on the screen and we've still got good detail in the middle of M27. And the guiding appears to have finished uh, total average error 0.63 and uh, the scale there, I've uh, changed the scale to plus or minus two pixels, so uh, that's why it looks a bit uh, rocky, but uh, it looks uh, like it's been uh, not too bad overall. Uh, if we pop over to the Fitz viewer, uh, we can see here's uh, here's all the images that have come in, and they are all looking not too bad. So we'll uh, sort them out in the morning. But uh, clouds have just come over. We're starting to thicken out a bit. There's still a lot of uh, activity up there, but uh, I'm starting to see some heavier high-level clouds, so I'm going to call it quits for the night. It's uh, half past twelve, and as I say, we'll, we'll have a look at the data in the morning. I'll speak to you in the morning. Okay, so it's the next morning, or the next day I should say, and uh, today I co copied all my uh, images that I captured off of uh, last night at the M27. And I've been through them and taken uh, the bad ones out uh, and dumped them in this folder here. But here we can see uh, with the Fitz viewer, uh, the single uh, image shots uh, for the 180 second, three minute exposures. And uh, they're all looking roughly the same. Uh, in terms of guiding and everything went last night, not too bad. Uh, we do have a very slight uh, stretch on all the stars, and that's prevalent through all the images. So I don't know if there's a collimation issue with the scope. I need to have a look into that. Uh, but overall, it went uh, pretty good last night. Uh, in the end, I was left with 50 uh, uh, exposures, three minutes each. Uh, for, the data, for the ones I've binned, if we just open some of them up. Uh, these ones, uh, this one here, you can see on the left hand side, I've got a satellite uh, It's come through the image on the left hand side. And the others, uh, they were pretty much, uh, the stars were just a little bit fuzzy or a little bit overexposed. And uh, weren't looking too clever compared to the ones uh, that I've kept. So in the end, as I say, 50 
180-second uh, exposures. So I took them today, uh, put them through DSS, and I used the calibration frames from M33 uh, from a week ago. And uh, no matter what I did, I just could not get uh, Sky Stacker to stack the images, even with messing around with the, the fits uh, brightness, with the star um, tolerance, or whatever it's called. Let me just pull up and see DSS on the wrong screen. Yeah, so in the fit settings, uh, tweaking the brightness here up and on stacking settings, I've lost the settings because I haven't got any images selected. There's a setting anyway in there for uh, setting the star tolerance. So all that didn't work. Uh, so I tried different things, reducing the number of uh, uh, images I was playing with to begin with, just to see if I could get a few of them to stack. Uh, again, uh, images just weren't uh, weren't working. I also tried to use Auto Stacker, and also tried to use Registax, and I also tried to use Cyril, all without much joy. And even Old Faithful Sharp Cap just banging in there. I wasn't getting anything uh, working properly. Everything was just a mess. So I don't know what was going on with today. I don't know if it's just the uh, overexposure in the image or if it's uh, the stars just being too fuzzy or elongated and uh, things are just not lining up correctly. I even tried to stack uh, without any calibration frames and uh, at the end I've just uh, I've given up on this for the time being. So what I did was I took uh, just one of the images uh, that came out and I pulled it into Pixinsight, uh, this one on the left, uh, and just tried to do some background uh, removal, uh, some curves tweaking, etc. And uh, this is where I ended up after playing around with Pixinsight. And then I took uh, that image across to GIMP and uh, I lost GIMP or I closed it. Yeah, took it into GIMP here and, and just played around with it just a, a little bit more, just trying to see if I could flatten out some of the background, uh, dial back uh, some of the car, cars and things like that. Uh, so then I saved that out and I took that back into Pixinsight and you can see them uh, two images side by side uh, of what I've ended up with. So uh, Overall, I would have said that, um, yeah, overall, I would have said uh, last night was, uh, I thought it went okay on the outside element. Uh, clearly not. Uh, today, it was just hours of uh, time lost trying to get the stacking to do what it should be doing. And uh, really, I don't know uh, where to go here with this set of data. I don't know whether I just need to write it off or I'll go back. And uh, do some further uh, playing around with the mount, uh, see if I can uh, understand why I'm getting this slight stretch uh, on the stars there. Uh, the tracking, uh, I think it was around about 0.6 or in that uh, region uh, when I finished up last night. Uh, the last few images that I've been were actually due to the telescope going down in behind a tree and uh, it was obviously causing some problems there. I think that was five images uh, were dropped due to that. So that's where we are. That's the final image that I'm uh, going with for the time being. And uh, as usual, if you've got any guidance or any reasons of why uh, I couldn't get the stacking based on what we can see here in the images, uh, then please do uh, drop that in the comments. And of course, um, I do appreciate any feedback that I do get, uh, particularly from uh, anybody who's got any ideas at all around the stacking and obviously further tools within uh, Bix and Sight or GIMP that I can use uh, to clean up the images further. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Uh, we'll look forward to seeing what I can get up next. I uh, don't know whether I'll, I'll go back here and have a further play. I still haven't set up um, the ASIA Pro yet, uh, so that's something I've still got on my list to do. Uh, but in the meantime, uh, please do uh, comment, uh, like and subscribe to uh, the channel. And uh, thanks for watching. We shall leave it there. Speak to you later.